In this recording, we'll take a look at special orders handled both with and without workflow. In a previous recording, I demonstrated the use of a workflow to create a purchase order when a special order line item was added to a released sales order. So I want to demonstrate what that process looks like without the workflow. So the first thing I'll do is I'll disable the workflow so the workflow will no longer run. And here we have a sales order created for single Orion. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use the same Athens desk. We'll do a quantity of 220 this time. And of course we don't have enough. And then we'll go over and create this as a special order line item. And of course we could have multiple line items on the order. Some of them could be special orders, some not, it's depending on what we wanted to do. Now, if you remember in the previous demonstration with the workflow enabled, when I press the release button, I get a message that says that this order has to be uh, approved because it's over $500. And if I reopen, just to make sure that that's all the same, I used a net hill, I think. As the salesperson, I get the same messaging we did before, but the work order is still released, or the sales order is still released, without any approval. So now that I have that done, I'll say OK. And now I need to find the requisition the requisition worksheet. In the requisition worksheet I have an option to get sales orders and we can filter these so we only do one document or one set of items at a time. I'll go ahead and say OK and it brings the 220 pieces of Athens disk over and now if I do carry out action message and OK you'll see that a purchase order is created for that, and if we go back to the purchase orders, we can look at the last purchase order down here, and it's been created for the 220 quantity. Notice that it is still open. I can go ahead and release that. Let's look again at what happens when we enable this workflow and now we'll go back to the sales orders we'll do the same thing we did before with the same item Let's do a different quantity so it'll stand out a little bit. We'll change the salesperson. Now when we release it, we do get the approval process. Send the approval request. Login is DGG. This time we'll search for the request to approve. And we'll go ahead and approve that sales order. When we go back, You'll notice that the sales order we just created is released. If we go over to purchase orders, then we'll find a new purchase order created for 333 quantity. So that's the difference between doing it with the processes in the system and doing it with the workflow. Well, obviously we can also trigger other events with the workflow like sending of messages, approvals, etc. 
If we can be of assistance or you would like more information about Microsoft Dynamics NAV, please contact me at the number or email address on the screen.